Patching your operating system and your applications is incredibly important. We are finding vulnerabilities and problems with these applications, and especially these operating systems, that might allow somebody remotely to take over your computer and to gain access to your files. These can sometimes be very, very large batches of patches called a service pack. Microsoft bundles together tens, in some cases hundreds, of patches so that you can apply all of them at one time. You might also get updates for applications and operating systems once a month or so. So you can update your operating system at a normal monthly rate. For Windows users, you get your normal patches on the second Tuesday of every month. That's Patch Tuesday. And so you'll be able to update your applications and your operating systems with whatever patches are available for that month. But of course, the bad guys don't work on a monthly schedule. They could come out with a vulnerability at any time. And if Microsoft identifies a problem with their operating system or their applications, they might come out with an emergency update and make sure that they can immediately provide a patch that will keep the bad guys off of your computer. There are a lot of ways to do these updates. One of the most common ways is to do something like a Windows update. It's built into the operating system. You have it go out to the update server, pull down the patches, and install them. If you're in a very large environment, that doesn't scale very well. You can't have thousands of people all using the same bandwidth to be able to pull back every single patch. You have a 1,000 times as much bandwidth being used. So you might use something like the Windows Server Update Service. WSUS. This is a centralized server that stores all the patches, and then you have your users simply access that server. That way you have all of the patches come down from the internet. You can check them. You can see that they're working properly. And now you can deploy that from that centralized server. If you're running Mac OS X, there's a software update right in the operating system itself. In Linux, there's a lot of different options for updating. You have YUM. You have RPM. There's graphical front ends. There's a lot of ways to update the operating system. Regardless of what operating system you're using, you'll want to use one of these methods to keep all of your applications and your operating system up to date. At home, you may just patch whenever you'd like. Whenever the update comes out, you patch your home computer. But if you're in a large organization, you can't simply add a patch out to the system. There's a lot more work that goes into this. If you're updating a machine with a particular patch, it might break one of the critical applications that you use internally to perform the major functions for your organization. So you don't want to deploy that patch. That could bring down your whole company. So you want to test these and make sure they're available, and then decide to deploy them. And you don't have to deploy all of the patches, of course. You can simply hold back the patches that you've identified to be a problem. But any of the other patches, you can simply deploy as you normally would. Very often, you're managing these from a central place. You're using the Windows Update Server. You're being able to test all of these systems so that your users can't jump the gun. You can go through your normal testing process, make sure everything is going to work exactly the way it should, and then deploy the patches to your end users.